In this video, I'll explain five signs of cat boredom. Your cats might be asking for help, but if you don't recognize those signs, it could lead to serious health issues, such as depression for your cats and chaos for you and your home. I'll teach you those five signs to look for and also give you five strategies to overcome and prevent boredom. All cats instinctively groom themselves. In fact, they spend between 30 to 50% of their time doing it when awake. It's their version of having a bath, keeping their fur in check and even removing bugs and parasites. However, sometimes boredom can lead to them taking it a bit too far. I found myself reading, with great interest, the ingredients on a shampoo bottle, all because I forgot my phone whilst on the toilet. To distract themselves, your cat can't throw on some reading glasses, tuck into a good novel, and learn about the intricacies and benefits of a two shampoo wash followed by conditioner to prevent split ends. Instead, they can turn to excessive grooming. This behavior can become excessive if your cat is constantly bored or stressed, potentially leading to hair loss and skin issues. If you notice ball patches, especially on their legs, belly or sides, red or irritated skin, fur that's maybe shorter than other areas, or even more hairballs than normal, it could be boredom, but please seek veterinary assistance. Two, is your furniture under a constant attack by sharp claws and curious teeth? Scratching is a natural behavior that helps cats mark their territory stretch their muscles and keep those claws healthy. I mean, it's important they stay ready just in case there's an opportunity for them to accidentally catch your delicate finger during playtime. Am I right? With cats, they're like little children. We've all seen those horror stories. A parent goes to make a cup of tea and the child sees it as an opportunity to redecorate the house with pseudocreme, creating a mess out of sheer boredom, releasing all that pent up energy. A cat engaging in destructive behavior is very much like that child. They can't talk to you, but by scratching something that you care about, they attract your attention because they know you're likely engaged with it. What's worse is they'll feel rewarded for finally getting your attention. It's why we shouldn't tell them off, but rather redirect their attention when it happens. Next time they try to say destroy something, consider whether they're just trying to ask for more playtime to release that energy. Three, are your cats meowing more than usual, especially at odd hours? <coughs> People often talk to themselves most of the time without even really thinking about it. Now, research has shown that some people self-talk to create a presence around them to make themselves feel better, helping to remove loneliness. It's quite sad, isn't it? Well, interestingly, this goes for cats as well. They could be trying to tell you that they're lonely, bored, or maybe there's another reason. Cats have the ability to make a wider range of vocalizations, and some breeds like Siamese cats are known for being particularly talkative. Our Maine Coons are particularly chatty. They respond when we call to them and let us know if they need anything. Our last cat bear had this amazing trick of creating more and more revving noises the closer it got to mealtime. I mean, from her perspective, it's important that her slave, sorry, humans know exactly how far away feed time is. If you noticed an increased frequency of meowing or howling or maybe changes in pitch or intensity, or even situations where your cat used to be quiet but is now like your alarm clock, it could be a sign of boredom. Four, is your cat looking a bit too chonky? Or maybe checking their food bowl regularly? Turns out humans are incredibly similar to cats here as well. Do you know or do you know someone that will turn to a snack when they're bored? I mean, I've got a cat dad bod because of it. Not joking, I've been caught sometimes buying up to eight McFlurries at a time. All so I can store them away like a little hamster and grab one whilst I'm hibernating or being forced to watch a new series we both want to watch. <laughs> I'm in danger! Cats do the same thing, turn into food for comfort when they are bored, which can lead to overeating and weight gain. Thankfully for us, they haven't found the takeaway menu yet. Interestingly, just like humans, cats experience emotional eating. Scarily though, obesity is a common issue in indoor cats, with estimates suggesting that up to 50% of cats in the UK and the US are overweight, leading to serious health issues such as diabetes, arthritis, and even heart disease. Signs and symptoms here can be your cat's eating more food than usual, constantly seeking food, any rapid weight gain, and or maybe them begging for food outside of regular meal times. Alternatively, if you're struggling with a cat's weight gain due to one cat stealing another's food, we recently reviewed the Surefeed feeder. Maybe watch that video. Five, have you noticed your cat turning into a full-time napper? It could be more than just a love for sleep. If you've ever been in a situation where there's nothing to do all day, like being, say, stuck at home with no internet, TV books, or even any company, you might start sleeping more just to pass the time. 
Now, interestingly, a geologist called Michael spent two months underground without any time cues to study how his body clock would adapt. After repeating the experiment again and with more participants, they discovered that their bodies switched to a 48 hour clock and in one case, one person slept for 34 hours in a row. Similarly, a bored cat might sleep more than usual due to a lack of stimulation. So cats sleep between 12 and 16 hours a day. Damn, imagine waking up after 14 hours and then going, Ugh, I didn't quite get my full 16 hours. Other signs to watch out for are your cats being disinterested in playtime, appearing lethargic, or even disinterested. Now here's two other signs of boredom to look out for. Has your cat experienced any of these signs? Let us know in the comments. Before we get into the solutions and strategies, it's important to know that if a cat were human, there'd be that one person you know that's incredibly silent about illness. You know the keep calm and carry on type. Cats are amazing at hiding illness and silently getting on. Therefore, it's crucial if you notice any changes in your cat's behavior to take them to your vet and give them a once over before assuming it's boredom. It's always better to be safer than sorry. One, keep your cat entertained with a variety of new and old toys. Toys are essential for keeping your cat mentally and physically stimulated. If you want to know more about how to make old toys interesting again, we discussed that in a previous video. For now though, different types of toys serve various different purposes. Interactive and activity toys stimulate your cats via physical exercise. Puzzle and cognitive toys stimulate your cat's mind. And comfort and scent toys stimulate your cat's senses. It's critical you have a comprehensive set of toys to ensure your cat remains engaged and happy, significantly reducing boredom. For us, we're big fans of puzzle feeders. Aside from entertaining your cat, it makes great content to post on social media channels. Here's our toy comparison chart if you need more help finding a toy. Two, creating a stimulating indoor environment can work wonders at preventing boredom and keeping your cat mentally and physically active. It doesn't need to be expensive or complicated though. Just like toys, a variety matters. Here's the four I'd recommend thinking about. Cat trees and shelves. Cats love vertical spaces to climb, perch, and oversee your household chores you're doing for them. Scratching is a natural behavior and mixing up different types of textures like sizzle, carpet, or even cardboard keeps them away from your sofa. Hiding spots shouldn't be underestimated. A simple box under or behind your sofa gives them a safe retreat to relax. It's their version of being cuddled up under a blanket by the fire. Window perches gives them an easy access to the sights and sounds of the outside world, providing a great mental stimulation. Now, if you're really brave or if your cats are well behaved, a cat TV can also be a great way to catch their eye. Three, allowing your cat to explore the great outdoors in a controlled and safe manner can greatly enrich their lives. Access to fresh air, new sights, sounds, and smells can be highly stimulating. Here's how to do it safely. A catio allows your cats to safely enjoy the outdoors without the risks of free roaming. In the distant future, we'd love to make a video showing the process. If you don't have access to space for a catio, we've seen with varying degrees of success, these fence rollers to keep your cats restricted to the garden. It might be difficult at the start, but if you work at it or train them from an early age, maybe putting them on a leash can allow you to take your cats for a walk. Here's a video of Cookie from almost 13 years ago now doing that. To help bring the outdoors in, adding a window box can be a great way to bring the entertainment to your cat and at the same time, benefit the local wildlife. Being frank, outdoor cats do have a lower life expectancy, but it doesn't always need to be that way. I suspect in some, but not all cases, there's likely a healthy medium between indoor and outdoor time, if we can provide them safe access. Four, cats are designed to hunt and are naturally playful. Regular play and training sessions keeps them healthy and happy. They offer exercise, mental stimulation, helping to prevent boredom and behavioral issues. All too often though, life gets in the way. To help, we find attaching tasks to other set routines helps us, like after say, cleaning the dishes. Equally, it doesn't need to be that long. Just 15 minutes of playtime spread across the day makes a massive difference. Here's some example activities. So interactive play doesn't actually need just to be about toys. Running away from them or mimicking their hunting instincts always gets our cats wound up. If you need to though, using toys like wands to mimic the movement of prey can really help. In our very first YouTube video, we listed our five favorite cat toys. Maybe one of them could be an option. 
Another one is clicker training, which I know Jackson Galaxy is a major fan of. Essentially, you can teach your cat simple commands like sit, stay, and high five. Not only do these really get your cat's brain whirring, it also deepens the bond between you both. Five, our final and favorite strategy is to strengthen your connection with your cats through dedicated bonding time. Spending quality time with your cat is super important for their emotional well-being. Fun bonding activities can help build trust, reduce stress, and even give them a mental stimulation they need. Plus, it makes your cat feel loved and secure. And let's face it, we feel loved and less stressed too. Here are some activities. So regular grooming sessions, such as brushing your cat's fur and trimming their nails can be a soothing and bonding experience. In our house, we call it a spa day for all involved. Petting and cuddling, every cat has their own preferences, but please make sure to set aside time for strokes and cuddles. We can't resist snuggling up with our fur balls and this physical contact strengthens your bond and comforts your cat. Talking and singing to your cat. Cats recognize their owner's voice, which brings them comfort and reassurance. We love calling our cats from upstairs and watching them dash up with excitement or chatting with them about what's on offer for dinner. Singing though, that's not really our thing. Maybe we should try this. To recap, here's the seven signs of boredom we mentioned earlier. But by incorporating these five boredom strategies, you can create a rich and engaging environment for your cat, ensuring they lead a happy, active, and mentally stimulated life. Regular interaction, varied activities, and a dynamic environment are key to helping your feline friend stay healthy and content. Going back to our toy comparison chart we showed earlier, if you've seen this toy going viral on Instagram and were curious about whether this smart interactive cat toy is actually worth buying for your cats, we've reviewed it in this video. We hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it and consider sharing the information with someone who might find it useful. And if you don't want to miss out on other content, please subscribe. See you soon.